Good day, class. So, ang lecture natin for this day will be more on problem solving saka formulas na sa resistance resistivity, circuits at Kirchhoff's law. So, wala masyadong discussion dito. More on magsasolve lang. Kaya please pay attention kasi bibilis ako lang ito and tapusin nyo lahat kasi importante lahat ng i-discuss ko. Kung hindi nyo masabayan, you can pause the video naman. And, balikan yung mga parts na hindi nyo maintindihan. So, let's start with resistance. So, resistance is the property of a material that opposes the flow of current. So, ang formula ni resistance is rho L over E. Or, resistivity, length, area. So, si resistivity, may unit tayo na ohm meter. Or, ohm circular mill per feet. Now, si length naman could be in meter or feet unit. Tapos si area could be in meter squared or circular mill. So, ano nga ba itong nakasita natin? Bagong unit na circular mill dito. So, si circular mill ginagamit siya usually sa mga standard sizes ng wire. So, it's more on MCM kasi Masyado maniliit yung diameters ng wire. So, ito yung ginagamit natin yung unit. I will discuss to you how the unit circular mill can be converted to other unit. So, circular mill is area is equal to d squared. So, it's a unit of area. Tapos, yung area formula niya is diameter squared lang. Pero, yung diameter is in the unit of mill. Pero kapag ginamit nyo yung area na pi over 4d squared, tapos yung diameter is in mil unit, hindi na yung magiging circular mil, magiging mil squared siya. So, please take note of that. So, ano yung mils? 1,000 mils is equal to 1 inch. So, ito makikita natin. Masyado maliit ang isang mil. Kaya ito yung ginagamit natin unit sa mga standard sizes ng wire. Tapos, kung i-convert natin from inch to meter, so 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeter. And alam naman siguro natin lahat, 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter. So, ito yung conversion natin for circular mills. So, sinabi ko kanina na MCM yung makikita natin unit usually. So, mil circular mil siya. Mil circular mil. Equal din siya sa 1,000 circular mil. So, mag-solve tayo ng sample problem regarding this topic of resistance. So, sabi, find the resistance whose length is 5 km and has a resistivity of 1 times 10 to negative 5 ohm meter. The cross-sectional area of the conductor is 250 mil circular mil. Assume the conductor has a circular cross-section. So, we are given length is 5 kilometers. So, alam naman natin it's 5,000 meters. Tapos, the resistivity is equal to 1 times 10 to negative 5 ohm meter. Tapos, we are given area, cross-sectional area, is equal to 50 mil circular mil. We are required to find the resistance. So, ang formula ng resistance, sabi kanina, is rho L over A. So, meron na tayong rho L over A. Pero, it's consistent unit. So, kailangan natin i-convert si area into meters. Kasi, dalawa na yung may meters. Tapos, maganda isa na lang i-convert natin. So, sabi kanina, area in circular mills is equal to diameter squared. So, i-compute natin kung ano yung diameter. Diba? Ang mill circular mill is equal to 1,000 circular mill then. So, 250 times 10 raised 3 circular mill. Circular mill 
equal to d squared. So, kunin na lang natin yung square root in both sides. Makukuha natin yung diameter in mil. So, 500 mil. Kasi di ba mil squared ito. Mils yung diameter natin. So, kahit circular mil siya, mils pa rin yung unit ng diameter natin. So, yan yung value ng diameter natin, 500 mil. Pero, kailangan natin i-convert pa ito sa appropriate unit. So, we have 1,000 mil for 1 inch. And, we have 2 point. For every 1 inch, we have 2 point. 54 centimeter. Tapos, for every 1 meter, we have 100 centimeter. So, with that, makakansel na natin yung mga unit para makuha natin yung required unit, which is meter. So, ang diameter natin will be equal to 0 0.0127 meter. Pero, sa formula natin, area. So, kailangan pa natin solve yung area. Sabi sa problem, the conductor has a circular cross-section. So, i-compute na lang natin yung circular cross-section formula ng conductor. So, pag-circle, area is equal to pi over 4 d squared. So, ang na-solve natin is 0 0.0127 meters squared. Makukuha na natin yung area. Therefore, ang area natin is equal to 1.2668 and 10 raised to negative 4 meters squared. So, consistent na yung units natin. Kaya, pwede na tayo mag-substitute sa formula na resistance. Rho L over A. So, meron tayong given na resistivity value na 1 times 10 raised to negative 5 ohm meter. And ohm meter multiplied by the length which is 5,000 meters, 5 kilometers over the computed value of the area is equal to 1.2668 times 10 raised to negative 4 meter squared. So, makikita natin ang liit-liit ng area. So, magigets nyo kung bakit ganito yung value ng standard sizes kapag bibili tayo ng wire. So, kung beauty, makukuha na natin yung resistance value equal to 394.71 ohm. So, ganun lang mag-solve na resistance. So, let's proceed. Kapag may effect of temperature na sa resistance. Meron tayong tatlong formula regarding this effect of temperature to resistance. Hindi na natin i-derive, so diretsong formula na lang. So, kapag nag-change yung temperature, mag-change din yung value ng resistance. And para masolve natin kung ano yung bagong value ng resistance, ito yung formula. We have three formulas. Sorry. So, we have three formulas. R2 is equal to R1, which is the initial value times 1 plus alpha 1, which is the temperature coefficient, temperature coefficient, yeah. Ayan, which is the temperature coefficient multiplied by the change in temperature. Change in temperature C2 minus C1. So, kapag alamin naman natin yung um, bagong value ng temperature coefficient ng isang material, yun ito yung formula. Inverse lang ng 1 over alpha 1 plus change in temperature. So, ganun lang. Madali lang i-memorize yung formula. And lastly, 
Parehas lang na formula ni resistance. Magkaiba lang na resistivity yun. So, 1 plus alpha 1, T2 less T1. So, ito yung formula regarding the effect of temperature to resistance. So, let's proceed sa sample problem na agad. So, we have a material having a resistance of 18 ohm at 20 degrees Celsius and 25 ohms at 75 degrees Celsius. Calculate the following. So, we are given... Um, at 20 degrees Celsius, the resistance is equal to 18 ohm. And at 75 degrees Celsius, the resistance is equal to 25 ohm. We are required to calculate the temperature coefficient at 0 degrees Celsius and the temperature coefficient at 200 degrees Celsius. So, from our formulas earlier, Diba sabi is R2 is equal to R1, 1 plus alpha 1, T2 less T1. So, record tayo hanapin. Wala tayong given value na temperature coefficient. Pero meron tayong dalawang given. So, pwede tayong gumamit ng mga algebraic methods. So, let's assume... This is R2, this is R2 in equation 1 and in equation 2. So, ang R1 natin, or in first or initial condition natin is at 0 degrees Celsius. So, let's start forming our equation. So, R2 natin is 18 ohm at equation 1 equal to R1. 1 plus the alpha 0, kasi yun yung initial condition natin. T2, which is 20 degrees Celsius, minus T1, equal to 0 degrees Celsius. Yun yung equation 1 natin. Then, next, equation 2 natin, 25 ohm, is equal to R1, multiplied by 1 plus alpha alpha at 0 degrees Celsius, tapos 75 degrees minus 0. So, let's divide equation 1 to equation 2. Maka-cancel itong R1. Dito tayo 18 over 25 is equal to 1 plus alpha 20 over 1 plus alpha 75. So, gumamit lang tayo na algebraic um, sub-manipulation dito or gamitin natin yung pinagbabawal na technique sa calculator which is chip solve. So, ayan. Pag ganun, ginamit nyo, makukuha nyo agad yung makukuha nyo agad yung value ng alpha sub zero natin which is equal to 7 over 850 per degree Celsius. So, yun na yung answer natin sa letter A. Sa letter B naman, madali na lang yun. You can use this equation 1 over 1 over alpha plus change in temperature. So, meron na tayong nakuha isang um, temperature coefficient. So, i-substitute na lang natin yun. Kasi alam naman natin yung mga temperatures nila. So, 7 over 850 per degree Celsius plus at 200 degrees Celsius. So, 200 minus 0. So, we will get the temperature coefficient at 200 degrees is equal to 7 over 2 to 50 per degree Celsius. So, na nakadali yun. With that, let's proceed na sa mga resistors in combination. So, meron tayong series parallel. So, 
ही सो जाती है तो सारी चीज तो इस एक कॉम्बिनेशन मेरन तायो लिस ऑफ प्रायोरिटीज का पगमुख से सोल वो नहीं ना तें सीरीज तापोस इपारेलेल तापोस वाइ और डेल्टा तो इतना वाइ और डेल्टा हाँ पगवाला ना ये ना गामित इतना हाँ पगवाला ना कहीं महीतं सीरीज और पारेलेल सा सं सर्किट में प्रॉब्लम पर मग मग प्रोसीड ताय सैंपल प्रॉब्लम मोना ना सीरीज एंड पारेलेल तो हियर वी हैव दिस Meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 12 na resistor in combination. So, sinabi natin kanina, priority series, tapos parallel. So, tingnan natin kung ano yung mga pagkakumbine natin. Hindi ba kapag magsasolve tayo ng resistors in combination, parang we simplify it further until makarating tayo sa isang equivalent resistance lang. So, here, may makikita tayo yung makikita tayo series here then we got series here series ulit dito tapos we can do parallel na rin dito so 22 plus 8 diba kasi kapag combination yung series pag series summation of resistors lang yan. Tapos pag parallel, inverse ng summation na inverse. So, yan. So, i-compute natin. 22 plus 8 is equal to 30 ohm. Tapos 15 plus 5 is equal to 20 ohm. 8 plus 4 is equal to 12 ohm. Tapos, itong parallel na to, 6 inverse plus 6 inverse. Tapos, inverse na ito is equal to 3 ohm. So, with that, isi-simplify natin ito. 30. Napag nito. So, masolve natin itong parallel. So, makikita natin. Meron na namang series. Meron na naman tayong series. Tapos, nagiging ito yung circuit natin. So, masisiris natin, 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 ohm. Tapos, pwede tayong parallel ulit dito. So, 6 ohm. Sabihin natin RA yan. So, 1 over 1 over 6 plus yung ito yung resistor dito, 1 over 12. Makukuha natin, resistor in parallel na yan is equal to 4 ohm. Masisimplify natin na pag ganito yung circuit. Ayan. Magiging ganyan. So with that, di ba nag-parallel tayo 4 ohm, tapos meron 6 ohms dito, so pwede natin i-series yung ito. Pwede natin i-series ito para mas na-simplify ulit natin. 20 plus 4 plus 6, pinetin R sub B yan, equal to 30 ohm. 
kung magiging halip yung ating circuit. Thirty ohm, thirty ohm, at one ohm, three ohm. Mahigit alat natin. Meron tayong parallel dito. So let's say it's R sub C. So sum ng inverse nila is equal to fifteen ohm. With that, magiging ganito yung circuit natin. So, paliit ng paliit yung ating initial circuit. So, magiging ganito na lang siya. A, B, 1 ohm, 3 ohm, and 15 ohm. So, makukuha natin, series na lang yung magagawa natin dito. Makukuha na natin yung final answer na equivalent. So, from A to B, R equivalent is equal to 1 ohm plus 15 ohm plus 3 ohm. So, 1 plus 15 plus 3 is equal to 19 ohm. So, yan yung final answer natin. May binanggit tayo kanina na delta tsaka y. So, ganito yung mukha na delta tsaka y. So, baliktad yung naisulat ko. So, this is y. This is delta. So, delta kasi parang parang delta symbol. Ito parang y na letter. So, itong delta sa kawai, ita transform natin yung circuit natin from delta to y. Tapos, kung nagawa natin yun, makakapag-series sa parallel na tayo. So, parang may tindihan natin, mag-formula muna tayo. Tapos, proceed sa sample problem. So, itong y, meron tayong tatlong node. 1, 2, saka 3. Tapos, meron tayong neutral points here. Tapos, yung mga resistors are named R1, R2, and R3. Tapos, si delta naman, may tatlo din tayong nodes, pero wala tayong neutral point. So, parang patriangle lang siya. Tapos, yung resistant resistors are named R1, 2, kasi 1, 2, 2. Tapos, 2, 2, 3, R2, 3. Tapos, R1, 3, or R3, 1. Either way, para sa mga so, paano pag i-convert natin ito pa ganito? So, ganito yung gagawin natin. Kasi diba R1, R2, R3, i-convert natin to R1, 2, R1, 3, R2, 3. So, kapag i-convert natin from Y to Delta, nangyari R1, 2, gagawin lang is multiplication ng lahat na ito over dun sa wala this na number na to. So, it's R1, R2, Plus R2, R3, plus R3, R1, over R12, so R3 na sa ilalim. So, ganun din kapag kukunin natin yung R23. Kukunin natin yung R23. Multiplication ulit ng lahat, R1, R2. It's R2, R3, it's R3, R1 over, ano wala dito? So, R1. Then lastly, pag i-convert natin, from Y to Delta, kailangan pa natin itong R3, 1. So, multiplication ng lahat. R2, R3, it's R3, R1. Over, kung wala dito, so R2. So, ganun lang yung formula na parang Y to Delta. Paano naman kapag Delta to Y yung gagamitin? Pag Delta to Y, 
um, gagawin lang is multiplication ng number na kukunin mo tapos addition ng lahat. So, ganito yun. Kung i-convert mo into R1, lahat ng may 1 pag multiply mo. So, R1 to multiply by R3 1 over addition ng tatlo. R1 2 plus R2 3 plus R3 1. So, ganun lang. So, kukunin mo si R2. Para sa mga yung nasa ilalim, so hindi ko na isusulat ulit. So, kukunin si R2. Lahat ng may 2, so R1, 2, times R2, 3. Tapos pagkukunin natin si R3, lahat ng may left, number 3, sa taas. Tapos pag-addition ng lahat sa baba. So, lahat ng may 3, R1, 3, R2, 3. So, ganun lang yung mga formula pag y2 delta. So, hindi ko hindi nyo pag-get, so mag- Proceed tayo sa sample problem. So, here, meron tayong circuit na walang series sa kawalang parallel. May makikita nyo, hindi, hindi nyo ito may easy series kasi may nakasingit na node dito. Pinakasingit na node dito. Tapos, hindi nyo rin sila mapaparalel kasi meron na kasingit na resistor dito. So, ang gagawin natin, i-convert lang natin from series, ay from Y to Delta transformation or Delta to Y transformation. So, ang gagawin natin sa example na ito is Y to Delta transformation. Pwede din namang Delta to Y. So, ang example ko is Y to delta. So, mag-a-assign tayo na tatlong node at isang neutral node. So, i-assign natin 1, tapos 2, tapos 3. So, ito yung neutral node natin. So, di ba? Pag sinabi natin Y to delta, i-convert natin sa pa-delta yung ating circuit. Pag-a-assign tayo later. So, isolve muna natin yung R12, R31, saka R23. So, sinabi ko kanina, yung formula, multiply ng lahat over dun sa wala. So, multiply ng lahat, 12, 4, 8, yung nasa ating 1, 2, 3 na node. So, pwede din naman ito yung Mas maganda ito yung ito, 1, 2, 3 nyo. Kasi kapag dito, na, parehas din lang naman. Pero bahala kayo. Mas ka same result yung mangyayari. So, R1, 2, 3 is 12, 4, 8. So, multiplication ng lahat, 12 times 4, plus 4 times 8, plus 8 times 12. So, i-copyin lang natin kasi para parehas lang naman yung nasa taas. 4 times 8, plus 8 times 12. 12 times 4, 4 times 8, 8 times 12. Tapos kung anong wala, R12, R12, so 4 ohms yung nasa ilalim. R31, R31, so 8 ohms yung nasa ilalim. Tapos R23, 12 ohms yung nasa ilalim. Kung makukuha natin yung values na R12, R31, R23. So, ang value ni R12 is equal to 44 ohms. Tapos, si R31 naman is equal to 22 ohms. And si R23 is equal to 44 over 3 ohms. So, gawin na natin yung transformation. So, this is R12, R31, and R23. So, i-convert na natin into delta yung dating y 
connection natin. Ito yung mga hindi natin ginalaw. Tapos ilagay natin yung node ulit. Ito yung node 1 natin. Ito yung node 3 natin. So, tatandaan na nyo kung sinipinus yung nodes nyo. Kasi mag-iiba yung sagot na kapag pinalibalikad nyo yan. So, ikakonvert lang natin. So, magiging delta lang siya. So, ganyan. Diba? So, naging delta siya. So, ilipat lang natin yung nakuha natin value. So, R12 is equal to 44 ohm. R31 is equal to 22 ohm. Tapos, R23 is equal to 44 over 3 ohm. Tapos, itong value na ito, 14 ohm, saka 10 ohm. So, ayan, na-convert na natin. Makakapag-solve na tayo ng series in parallel. Kasi tingnan nyo, meron na tayong parallel connection dito. Na dalawa. So, sabihin natin, this is RA and this is RD. So, let's compute. RA is equal to the inverse na 1 over 22 plus 1 over 14 equal to 77 over 9 ohm. Tapos, si RB naman, ganun ulit, parallel 1 over 2. Tapos, 4, to, 4 over 3, so 3 over 44. So, RA, RB will be equal to 220 over 37 ohm. Ayan, malapit na tayo matapos. So here, naiparallel na natin ito. So, ganyan na lang. Naiparallel na natin yan. Ito yung A. So, yung B, house na rin pa tayo dito na 44 ohm. So, ito yung nasolve natin, 77 over 9, saka 220 over 37 ohm. So, malapit na natin masimplify. Isiris na lang natin ito. So, 77 over 9 plus 220 over 37 is equal to, sabi natin RC, over 37 is equal to 4829 over 3330. So, magiging, ganito yung ating circuit. AB, so, isang step na lang. 44 ohm, tapos part. Ayan. Isang parallel na lang yung mangyayari. So, parang magic si ba yung Y sa kad delta transformation. So, AB, so our equivalent na lang. So, 1 is in parallel. So, 1 over 44 plus itong RC equal to 333 over 4829. Oh. So, our equivalent natin will be equal to 1756 over 161 ohm. So, ayan. Maybe, ganyan. Maybe, our equivalent. So, ganyan lang kadali mag-solve na this is our problem. So, for the next part, will be the battery combination, tapos, Kirchhoff's law. So, mas makunti na lang yung discussion doon. So, natapos na tayo sa resistance na topic.
yung my combination of resistors at type temperature. So, dito na tayo sa battery inserted combination para makapag-proceed na tayo sa last topic which is your cough loss. So, brief discussion na lang to kasi super information overload. So, I advise na magpahinga kapag hindi masyadong pumapasok sa utak yung discussion kasi masyadong compressed yung dinidiscuss ko na topic. So, we have battery in circuit combination. So, pag naka-series, naka-parallel, so paano kapag yung battery naka-series, naka-parallel? Pag naka-series, para, parang parehas lang sa resistors in series yung battery in series. So, ang total equivalent na itong itong battery. So, ito yung sign ng battery, di ba? So, yung total equivalent na EMF nila is yung sum lang din ng individual EMF dito sa series combination. So, kapag yung mga resistors, ganun pa rin naman yung magaganap. Series pa rin sila. So, ganun pa rin. Summation of resistance test. So, dito naman, we have three batteries connected in parallel. So, kapag parallel naman, yung mga battery, yung EMFs nila is equal lang sa isa't isa. So, E1 is equal to E2 is equal to E3. Pero yung resistances pa rin, ganun pa rin, yung diniscuss natin kanina. So, let's proceed na sa Kirchhoff Law. So, sa Kirchhoff's Law, meron tayong dalawang law, yung KCL, or tinatawag din na Kirchhoff's First Law or Kirchhoff's Junction Rule. Tapos, eto, second, we have the KVL, Kirchhoff's Voltage Law, or tinatawag din Kirchhoff's Second Law, saka Kirchhoff's Loop Rule. So, first, etong KCL or Kirchhoff's Current Law, Sinasabi dito, yung summation daw ng current entering a node will be equal to the summation of current leaving that node. For example, we have this node, tapos may tatlong resistors na connected sa kanila. Sa node na to, so let's say this is R1, R2, and R3. Tapos mag-assign tayo ng direction ng current nila. So, si I1 sa so baba. Tapos, si I2. Tapos, ganun din si I2. So, nag-assign lang ako ng directions nila. So, sabi sa KCL, summation ng papasok sa node is equal sa summation ng papasok sa palabas sa node. So, ang papasok na current is I1. Tapos, equal sa summation ng palabas, so I2 and I3. So, ganun lang kadali yung KCL. Next is KVL naman. Sabi doon, sabi dito sa law na to, yung summation daw ng voltage difference is equal to 0. So, for example, we have battery here, tapos may resistors na connected dito. So, let's say this is this is R1, this is R2, and this is R3. So, sabi, ibang tawag dito sa KVL, di ba, is Kirchhoff's loop rule. Dahil, isang close, for a closed circuit kasi itong Kirchhoff's law. So, for a closed loop, so mag-assign tayo ng convention. So, let's say, counterclockwise is positive. Tapos, so, ilagyan natin, kunyari, ito yung direction ng current dito sa circuit na to. So, counterclockwise is positive. Tapos, after natin mag-assign ng convention, pwede na tayong mag-assign ng mga positive negative signs dito sa ating circuit. Susundan lang natin yung convention natin. So, kapag Sa batteries, yung maliit na line is always negative. Tapos, yung mahaba is positive. Tapos, 
yung current I1 natin is pa ganito, yung direction. So, along counterclockwise siya. Therefore, papasok yung current positive to negative dito sa ating resistor 1. Tapos, ganun din si I2. So, positive, negative. Then, si I3. So, oppose siya sa direction kasi pag ganito is positive, di ba? Pero, pag ganito yung direction ni I3. Therefore, ipasok siya na negative, tapos positive. Tapos, sabi sa PVL, summation ng voltage difference is equal to 0. So, yung ating E. Tapos, pag a lang natin yung mga voltage difference ng voltage dito sa isa sa ating circuit. So, ito first sa battery. Tapos, dito sa ating resistor 1. Kasi, di ba, may voltage drop kapag may resistor. Kasi, ino-oppose niya yung flow of current. Tapos, so, kapag lumabas pa negative, negative yung sign na ilalagay sa ating equation. Ang tatandaan natin, V is equal to IR. Therefore, I1 times R1. Tapos, palabas din ulit siya sa negative sign. So, negative I2 times R2. Tapos, palabas siya positive. So, positive I3, R3. And, these values will be equal to 0. So, mag-sample problem tayo regarding Kirchhoff's law. So, here, we have this problem. Determine the current in each branch. So, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6 na current. Dahil meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 na resistors. Determine the current in each branch. Now, so, nag-assign na ako ng node dito kasi pag node, kailangan merong 2 or more components na nakakonect sa isang node. So, here, meron tayong more than 2 more than 2 and more than 2 na components of the circuit connected. Tapos, yung ibang side, pangalanan natin din kasi kailangan natin ito for the KVL. So, meron tayong apat na nodes. Um, number of nodes equal to 4. Tapos, dahil dyan, convention natin, magkakaroon tayo ng tatlong KCL equation. Tapos, meron tayong six unknowns, di ba? So, kailangan pa natin ng tatlong equation. So, KVL yung gagamitin natin. So, first, bilangin natin kung ilang loops ang meron sa ating circuit. So, first, this loop, E, A, B, D, G, E, loop. So, that is loop number 1. A, F, C, B, A, loop number 2. B, C, H, D, B. So, parang nag-aaral tayo ng alphabet. Pero, ganyan magpangalan ng loop. So, kung saan sila nag-enclose, tapos pabalik mo sa nag-umpisa. So, B, C, H, D, B. So, mag-a-assign pa pala tayo na convention na counterclockwise is positive. So, may tatlo na tayong na kwan na loop. Meron pa, meron pa ibang loops. Yung E, A, F, C, e, D, D, G, E. So, that's our fourth loop. Tapos, meron pang loop na E, A, B, C, H, D, D, E. Tapos, meron pa itong loop na to. A, F, C, H, D, D, A. Tapos yung final loop, itong buong loop na ito, E, A, F, C, H, D, G, E. So, all in all, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 loops. So, number of loops, meron tayong 7. So, kailangan lang natin kasi number of unknown, kailangan lang is equal sa number Yung number of equations na kailangan mo is equal sa number of unknown. So, kailangan lang natin ng tatlong KVL equation.
So here, meron na tayong convention na counterclockwise is positive. So dahil dyan, makakapag lagay na tayo ng sign convention. So, sinabi ko yung maliit is negative, tapos mahaba is positive. Tapos, papasok siyang pa ganito, tapos along with the counterclockwise direction yung current, so, papasok siyang positive, lalabas siyang negative. Same with I2, along with counterclockwise direction, papasok siyang positive, lalabas siyang negative. Then, dito kay I3, same then, positive, negative, and here, positive, negative. Tapos, again, counterclockwise direction, therefore, negative, positive. Tapos, itong I4, along with counterclockwise direction pa rin siya, so, positive, negative, kay I6, same, positive, negative, tapos, itong mga natitirang batteries natin. So, yan yung sign conventions para sa circuit natin ito. So, with that, pwede na tayong gumawa ng KCL at KBL. So, first, mag-KCL muna tayo. So, KCL, let's say at node A, At node A, so may papasok tayong I1, may lalabas tayong I2, may lalabas din tayong I3. Therefore, I1, ililipat ko na para is equal to 0 na lang. Minus I2, minus I3, equal to 0. So that will be our equation 1. Then, at node A, at node here, C, Let's make a KCL. So, may papasok tayong I3, papasok tayong I5, tapos lalabas tayong I6. So, I3 plus I5 minus I6. So, I5 minus I6 is equal to 0. So, for our third, so, ilista natin dito. I1 minus I2 node A node C minus I3 is equal to 0. Tapos, I3 plus I5 minus I6 is equal to 0. Then, next, Sa node B na lang. Node B. So, we have entering I4. Tapos, entering I6. Tapos, leaving na I1. So, I4 plus I6 minus I1 is equal to 0. So, that is for our KCL. So, mag-KVL naman tayo. For KVL, for KVL, let's say, yung three loops na lang na madali ang para madali lang isulat ng ating equation. So, at loop EA, B, D, G, E. So, at loop EA, B, D, G, E. So, di ba, V is equal to I, R. So, lagi niya tatandaan na yung clock. So, counterclockwise positive. So, mag-start tayo high. 54 volt. And, mag-start tayo high E, A. So, E, A, B. So, I, 2 times 4. Lalabas siya sa negative side. Time. So, negative 4 times I2. Ilalang muna natin ilagay yung unit para mas madali. Negative 4 times I2. Tapos, D to D. Negative 1 times I4. Tapos, D to G wala. Tapos, D to E. So, 
Lalabas siya sa positive, so plus 54. Tapos, lalabas ulit siya sa negative, so negative 2, I1 is equal to 0. Next, AF, EBA. So, at AF, EBA, we will have an equation, A to F, negative 5I3. Tapos negative 20 volts. Kasi lalabas siya sa 20. Tapos C to D. So positive 10 I5. Tapos B to A. So lalabas siya sa positive. So positive 4 I2 is equal to 0. Then our last. Last loop, BCD, BCHDD. So, dito na lang si Dile. So, dito na lang si Dile. At, BCHDB. So, B to C, we have negative 10I5. So, C to H. We have negative 3i6. Now, sa labas na negative 1 volt, minus 1. Plus h to d, wala. Tapos d to d, meron tayong positive 16. And positive i4 equal to 0. So, i-rewrite lang natin. I-rewrite ko na lang. Masyado na mahaba. Si KBL at loop 1. Sabihin na lang natin loop 1 yun. So, we have negative 4 I2 minus 34 plus 64 minus 2 I1 is equal to 0. Then, at loop 2, we have negative 5i3 minus 20 plus 10i5 plus 4i2 is equal to 0. Then for our last equation, here we have 10i5 minus 3i6 minus 1 volt plus 16 plus I4 equal to 0. So, we have 6 equations, 6 unknown. So, hindi ko na ipapakita sa inyo yung mathematical equation of systems, kung paano nakuha. Nagli pa ko sa inyo yun. So, ito yung sagot. So, I1 will be equal to 7 amperes. I2 is equal to 5 amperes, I3 will be equal to 2 amperes, I4 will be equal to 4 amperes, and I5 will be equal to 1 amperes, and I6 will be equal to 3 amperes. So this will be our final answer kasi we are required to determine the current at each front. So ganun lang kapag mag-cure tops to tayo, lagi natin tatandaanan yung ACL, KVL, tapos magsasign, bago tayo mag-sign convention, maglagay tayo ng um, convention for the loop, kung ano yung positive. Tapos after nun, tandaanan nyo rin yung Ohm's law, then with that, makaka-form na tayo ng mga equation, tapos gagamitin nyo lang mga matrices, algebra, manipulation, para makakuha kayo na final answer so system of equation so ganun lang yung pagsasolve ng ating na tear cups no? so doon na nagtatapos ng ating lecture so 
Thank you sa pakikinig and good luck sa magiging activity nyo. Bye.